Warning, the following Otaku Generation podcast has content of an adult and mature nature and is not necessarily safe for work or appropriate for children under the age of 18. If you are easily offended by content of this type, please stop this recording. Parental discretion is advised. The opinions and viewpoints expressed on Otaku Generation are those of the cast and crew and the individuals that express them and are not necessarily associated with the sponsors or guests of the show. Otaku Generation is a Red Apple production which is solely responsible for its content. All impressions are poorly impersonated. And please, for the love of God, don't try this at home. Well, welcome to Otaku Generation. Generation. Next generation radio for otaku. Our podcast brings all the otaku to the yard. Welcome to the show 1001. Hey everyone, this is Alan this week. Uh, our typical recording day is Sunday. And Matt wasn't feeling great. Um, and Paul was still traveling. In fact, he didn't even get back to earlier this week. And I still wasn't feeling great. Basically, been able to avoid COVID for over four years. And it only took 46,000 people to take me down. I got COVID on Sunday. I really didn't want to talk with anybody. I didn't want to talk to anybody. And it turned out I had no one to talk with. You know, it seemed like the powers of be were saying, take a break. I needed rest and I needed not to talk. So the initial plan, we were going to take a sick day. And so it was looking that we were first time in a long while, not really going to be having a conversation about anything. Um, and so I was just going to release a little bit of, of uh, audio saying, hey, I'm taking a sick day. But then I popped into Discord and I saw there was um, some feedback uh, about show 1000. I appreciate that, you know, we still have a meaningful place in people's weeks. You know, you guys look forward to something from us every week, even if it's brief. And, you know, I appreciate that. And I appreciate the feedback. But also during that time, since, you know, since Sunday, um, I saw that feedback and then I saw more people were signing up to Patreon. And so I'm feeling a little better today. On Tuesday, which is the night I do the edits for the Wednesday release, I thought there was something that I I could talk about that I never make space for um, in the you know in the framing of this podcast. This week's topic is going to be the Otakon documentary. I have probably talked people's ears off about it in person. I'm going to do my best not to go into too much detail because I have a tendency to want to talk about the detail. There is so much to talk about, but let, let's just start about how it got started. Why an Otakon documentary? Before that was even a thought in anyone's minds, I had been approached on and off through the course of time about maybe helping Otakon produce an Otakon podcast. There have been a lot of non-starter efforts in the past from people internally start an Otakon podcast. Often it, it fizzles out. Somewhere in 2018, it looked like there was interest in maybe that being a thing and me being involved. And so I was starting to put things together for us to maybe do that. 2019 became what was on people's minds and they realized that that was the 25th year and that maybe instead of an Otakon podcast, that we do something a little more grander, something a little bit more telling the story of Otakon, our history, maybe with the thought that we would show something off in, in the 25th show, the event. Things shifted, and at the end of 2018, I started interviewing people of note. And through 2019, interviewed more people of note, other staffers, people of historical note with Otakon. And that continued all the way up into the event. Um, and I continued to film at the event. Um, and I continue to capture more interviews and more discussions and more history with some idea of a couple thread lines I wanted to achieve from that. By the time that Otakon was over, I had easily 20 hours worth of interviews just from that one year, really just technically from those three days. And so that's, that's kind of where it started with the idea we would produce at least an hour's worth of content maybe something like in a feature film format as we continued it really became apparent that there is too much information density in those stories that if we were to do a feature film we were really only going to be highlighting a few people the realization was that wouldn't be fair to you the viewer because there are so many good stories there is so much to tell and the format of a feature film film 
would not do it justice. We started the effort, then we had a skip year, and in 22, um, I resumed being back at the event, and I resumed filming. For the past several years, I go, and I get a lot of B-roll, and then I, I go follow people, and then um, I start featuring a department, and I follow them a little bit. I, I give you a sense of what it means to you as a member and, and what it means to us as staff. And I show you all those those sort of stories of impact. That is kind of the, the short version of what I've been doing. My sort of ranting doesn't feel very coherent, but we'll see how the edit comes together. But I wanted to give you something. And um, what, what I hope is that you'll get to know what I've been doing with this project. There is one video that from our 2019, and if you go over to the Otakon YouTube channel and you look for the fire story, um, that's an example of where I started in early 2019 with this. That's it. I'm going to stop talking. Um, I've run out of steam. I'm going to just close us up right now. Um, for next week, uh, we're going to resume the seasonal reviews. So look forward to that. Um, I'm hoping that I will be in a good place and my voice will be back and um, things will be better. And um, yeah, so we'll, we'll see how things go then. Well, thank you, everyone. I got to shut up. Uh, until next week, have a good one. And again, please be safe and sound.